Hello kids, Daddy's here. Right now, Daddy will show you a romantic comedy film from 2009, titled He's Just Not That Into You. Prepare your snacks to feel the cringe and crunch. Be a good kid and subscribe to Daddy's channel. Spoilers ahead, watch out. The film begins with Gigi who goes on a date with a real estate agent named Connor. Connor's lack of interest in her is so clear, and his disinterest is so strong that anyone with eyes and ears can sense it, except for her. After the date, Gigi calls a friend to inform her that Connor is cute. Meanwhile, Connor calls a woman named Anna for a late dinner, but she has a thing and won't be able to join him tonight. Connor arrives home to meet Alex and decides to call Anna to inform her that he is going to go to bed, but Alex feels this is a bad idea. Anna ignores the call and continues to speak with a stranger named Ben, who says he has a friend who might be able to help Anna with her singing career. As she gives him her contact information, Anna hits on Ben, but he admits that he is married. They both decide to maintain a professional. Anna asks for his business card, and he walks away to his friend Neil's parked car. The next day, Gigi checks her voicemail for a call from Connor. Ben's wife, Janine, tries to reassure her by saying that he is probably busy. In her desperation, Gigi heads to the bar that Connor frequents, and there, she meets the owner, Alex. He tells Gigi that Connor won't be coming in that evening. Then, Alex and Gigi end up talking the entire night. Alex assures her that Connor will never call her, and she tries to come up with reasons why he hasn't. Nonetheless, Alex argues that if a guy doesn't call, he isn't interested. Alex promises Gigi that he'll set her up with a cousin, but Alex screwed up and accidentally gave his cousin a different day. Alex decides to hang out with Gigi instead of wasting her time because she is already at the bar. With their growing intimacy, Gigi misinterprets everything once more, convinced that he's into her. One day, Alex invites Gigi to his party. After the party, there's just Gigi and Alex left, and she pounces on him and kisses him. He is taken aback by her quick movement and pushes her aside, informing her that he dislikes her. Gigi is upset, but she counters that Alex is in a worse situation than her since his persistent dodging of anything true will leave him to being all alone. Alex finds himself unable to stop thinking about Gigi for the following few days. Alex is in an emotionally vulnerable situation for the first time in his life, and his desperate demeanor and frantic behavior of continually checking his texts. With this realization, he heads out to her place. Alex professes his love to her, and the two of them kiss. At a saloon, Anna tells a woman about her situation with Ben, and she tells her a story about a man divorcing his wife and marrying another. This encourages Anna to work harder to acquire Ben. She then calls him, but he refuses to talk to her because he can't get close to her. Ben calls Anna in order to help her with her singing career. Janine, his wife, walks in as he hangs up the phone, and they talk about their future together. The next day, Ben and Anna are in his office, and she inquires as to why he is married. He explains that when he was in college, his wife gave him the choice of getting married or breaking up with her. He opted to marry her because he didn't want to split up with her, but now he thinks he rushed his choice. One day, Ben joins Anna's yoga class, despite his attempts to prove that it is just a coincidence. They both go for a swim and then talk about how they are just friends. Ben takes Anna to his office again. They begin to make out as soon as they enter his room. Someone unexpectedly knocks on the door. Ben recognizes his wife's voice after listening to it. As he approaches the door, he hides Anna. His wife walks in, closes the door, and tries to seduce him, but he refuses. He tries to get her to leave by claiming he has an assignment, but she refuses and insists that they make out. Ben sends her home after they finish make out, where she will wait for him to discuss their marriage. Anna emerges from the closet after Janine has left and chastises Ben for his cowardice, calling him a disgusting man. Anna's comes back to date with Connor. Connor never learns about Anna's relationship with Ben, and they never cross paths. Unlike with Ben, Anna just wants a casual flirty relationship with Connor. She even doesn't sure if she loves him or not. One day, Connor surprises Anna with a house he's willing to buy one day. He invites her to live with him in this house to take their relationship to the next level. She, on the other hand, declines in a polite manner. They hug each other in warm understanding and decide to remain friends. Meanwhile, Janine would never learn that Anna had been hidden in that closet that day, but she didn't need to know that for her to decide to leave Ben. Janine discovers another cigarette packet in their unrenovated property, 
Since her father died of lung cancer, she doesn't like it when Ben smokes. Janine erupts in rage when she sees the cigarettes. Ben would return home to discover all of his possessions and clothes packed and ready to go. Among them is a pack of smokes and a letter said I want a divorce. That's all for today kids. Help daddy by like and subscribe. See you on the next videos.